our documentary entitled Remix focuses on the journey of DJ Ryu. In my capacity as a screenwriter, I analyze three documentaries and multiple other modes to better understand not just storytelling, but also the technical and creative aspects that influence it. The first documentary I analyzed was Why We DJ by DJ Sounds. The documentary spans the journey of multiple DJ artists and what inspires them, motivates them and the challenges to their performance. It reveals that a lot of DJs, though their job is extroverted, are actually introverts. To achieve this storytelling, the documentary employs a lot of jump cuts. A jump cut is an abrupt transition from one scene to another. In the case of this documentary, the filmmaker jumps from scenes where the DJs are performing in front of massive crowds to scenes of them interviewing and revealing their personalities and identities. This influences script writing when determining the pace and flow of the script. To keep the story moving fast and also interesting, jump cuts are very useful. What's more is that the filmmaker has also utilized different types of shots and angles. For instance, when they are performing their sets, usually a wide shot is used. But when the performers are interviewing, it's mostly medium shots that extend from their shoulder to their head to give us a more intimate portrayal of who they are. The second documentary that I looked at was Hannah's Story by the New York Times. Though Hannah's story is not particularly related to our story of the DJ, it does hold special importance on how we film and shape the narrative. Hannah's story, like ours, is about one individual only, which makes the background, the elements and the space around the subject very important. Therefore, the filmmaker uses techniques like cutaways and close-ups to tell us about Hannah without overtly doing so. For instance, there is a scene in which Hannah is in the classroom and she is studying and the camera cuts away to a poster of families. This indicates that Hannah has some revelation about the families that will be later explored in the documentary. The documentary also has interviews with coaches and other experts that are involved in Hannah's life. Although we won't be using interviews with experts, it's helpful in mapping out the story and the structure that our documentary will follow. The documentary also serves as an important reference point for understanding how to add cutaways to a story. For instance, cutaways need to add to the story and not take away or distract from its purpose. The final documentary I considered is one by Forbes and it's a part of a docu-series. Although this film is not very high on storytelling, it does have aspects that help us understand how to film the day scene that is the first part of DJ Ryu's documentary. The documentary uses a lot of wide shots when she's getting out of bed. They do close-ups when she's making her coffee or checking her emails. These particular close-ups are important because Forbes' relentless docu-series emphasizes on business founders and their lives in this case. People are very interested in knowing what the daily routines of a business founder looks like. In a similar vein, when we are filming DJ Ryu's journey, we will be focusing on aspects of his daily routine that make him who he is. Moving on to the music, Forbes Relentless typically uses very fast-paced music to indicate the business people on the go super creative at night. So I'll either head home to record new songs at my home studio setup or I'll go to a studio nearby with one of my producer friends. When DJ Ryu is getting ready for his gig or is off to a nightclub, we will also be using fast-paced music along with a combination of ambient music. What is common among these documentaries is that they have used a mix of the observational, expository and poetic elements, which is something that we also aspire to do in our documentary. We will use a mix of wide shots, close-ups and cutaways. When filming the documentary, we will be using a mix of handheld and tripod filming techniques, which is something that is integral to be integrated into the script. Deciding which camera to use would depend on the scene that we want to capture and the ultimate emotion that we want it to evoke. In the end, I aspire to use these documentaries not only as a bouncing off point for storytelling, but also for creative and technical techniques that could inspire our film.